that's important. Yep, go ahead. Can you start See with how far the, we go. Uh, injury situation, please, Mark. Um, uh, Jeff Cameron's still unavailable. Peter Crouch, uh, likewise, started training, but uh, not ready for games yet. Um, apart from that, from the weekend, I think we're okay uh, from last time out. So uh, um, it's only the, the longer term injuries. Uh, Shea Given uh, is out. Mark Boniessa uh, is out as well. Um, if there's anybody I've missed, you need Stevie to remind me. Stevie Stevie's uh, uh, won't won't be available over the weekend. Um, hopeful that um, he'll be okay for West Brom, maybe. But uh, struggling with the hamstring at the moment. Obviously, the transfer window is going to be open before long. Have you got uh, any plans at present for ins or outs? Um, we've we've got a few ideas. Um, whether or not the uh, lead. Do anything significant? We'll have to wait and see. But uh, I don't think there's any urgency from our part, part to, uh, to. This isn't a real necessity, so to speak, to to really address issues in the team. I think we're fine at the moment. Squad strong. Um, got players coming back from injuries as well. So, um, if there's opportunities and the right players are available, then certainly we'll we'll have conversations with the people that that you need to have conversations with and we'll see where that takes us but uh, it may be that if we don't do anything this January well we just keep our power to dry and, and wait for the summer. Are you bracing yourself for the possibility of interest in one two in your players? Um, we, we wouldn't we wouldn't encourage it um, I don't think there will be to be perfectly honest um, I think there's all speculation about good players I think everybody involved in football understands that everybody who's involved in a football club will have interest in, in the good players that that they have and other teams will covet those good players so uh, we're not the only ones that there'll be speculation about our players but uh, um, at the moment we're, we're a strong unit, strong squad and people are enjoying what we're doing, enjoying being part of what we're doing so so we're quite comfortable really. Jim was talking not long ago about the possibility of a new contract for Eric Peters and, and Michael Arnautovic. Not any news on them um, I think there may be a little bit of progress with, with Eric Peters. Uh, I know Marco's people have been in, and there's conversations going on there. So, hopefully, we'll, we'll have some announcements pretty soon. In terms of, of, of play at the moment, just the one win in, in four. It's, it's been tough going at the moment. What are your thoughts on, on how well, things are? I think it's fine. If you go a little bit further back, we haven't done bad in the last ten or so games. So. Just picking in the last four games a little bit unfair, but uh, no, we've done okay. We were disappointed last weekend because we felt we'd done enough in the game to get something out of it, but uh, uh, we got done at the end with a great strike, and that can happen in sports. You, you have to hold your hands up when that happens, but we didn't really get what we deserved out of that game. Uh, we had a good result against West Ham away, uh, good game, uh, and away point on, on the road is, is a good performance in my view, and uh, then we had a couple of great wins and performances uh, at the Britannia. So we, we've got Man United at the weekend. Obviously, we're, we're looking for more of the same in terms of the what we've been able to produce here against the bigger teams. So what do you make of what's been going on with Manchester United recently? Well, yeah, I think there's a, there's a little bit of noise surrounding the club at the moment and um, a little bit of a debate over how they're playing or or which way the, the club is going. But... Um, I think with all Man United teams, there's, there's a responsibility and an onus on the players to, to go out and perform and, and play like Man United players and understand um, what they demand of being part of a big club like Man United, what that entails. And uh, I think certainly <coughs> from the games I've seen, they're, they're dominating games for the most part. Um, the game seems to be a lot more possession based, maybe, uh, than it has been in the past. but. Uh, uh, probably last weekend's performance, notwithstanding that one, I think before that they had a lot of possession and created a lot of chances. A little bit like ourselves, we've we haven't scored a great many goals, but we in recent weeks we've still been creating chances. It's just about converting them, and I think that's that's the case with United to a certain extent. Um, so they've got good players, they've, they've got good squad, good individual talent. So you, you'd expect at some point that they will start to click again, but. Uh, Hopefully we, we won't allow that at the weekend.
you could obviously put Billy Van Gaal under a little bit more pressure if you managed to, to get a win. Do you, do you find it surprising that, that a manager of his, his calibre and his pedigree is well, seemingly under pressure? No, I, I said, said last week when uh, Jose lost his, his role that um, no one's immune. Uh, you have to you have to win football matches and if you don't win football matches or, or you're on a run of form and, and the perception is that, that you're not doing particularly well then you come under pressure and it doesn't it doesn't matter what you've done in the game previously. Um, his record as a as a top line manager is, is exceptional but he's been in it in the game a long, long time and he knows more than uh, better than most that if results and perception is that you're not doing particularly well, then you come under pressure. He understands that. We all do. Just finally, from me, uh, one more asking everybody today. Obviously, very few people would have expected that at Christmas Leicester City would have been top of the Premier League. Um, what do you make of how they're getting on, and can they stay there? I think they're doing fantastically well. I think it's it's credit to them. Um, the way they approach the game is refreshing. They've they've got players playing out their skin at the moment. They've got two guys, in Maris and. And Vardy, who have got a run of form going, that's coincided with the rest of the team playing well behind them and they're scoring goals, and that's allowing them to to win football matches. And at the moment, the the mix and the balance of their team is arguably better than most, and that's illustrated by the fact they're top of the league. But uh, I think they they will acknowledge that they need to keep their key players fit and well. Um, if they do that, then they've got they've got a great chance because they've got momentum and. And in sport and in football, if you've got momentum and you can maintain it, then uh, you can surprise yourself how far you go. So we're, we're getting into the second part of the season now. If they maintain it, then uh, they'll take some stopping. Carl, do you use the word um, demand referring to Manchester United and, and playing for Manchester United? So what, what is that demand as a player and, and what does it entail? Well, there's a lot of things. There's responsibility to to perform well, you're on a huge stage and you're playing for a world-renowned club. Uh, there's responsibility to uh, entertain, I would suggest. That's, that's always been the Man Manchester United way. It's, it's always been um, woven into the fabric of the club and, and the teams that have put the shirt on. So uh, um, it's a huge demand to, to play for Manchester United. A lot of players can't deal with it and over the years they've been so outstanding players have gone man gone to Manchester United and not been able to deal with that expectation that comes with with being a Manchester United player. So that can have a, an effect, and and I think we're probably, and I think uh, people at Man United know this themselves that they're in a period of maybe transition where uh, since Sir Alex has left, then we're on a different cycle now maybe, and uh, a lot of key players that were there for many many years. Uh, are still around the place, but obviously not on the field of play. So uh, I think that's having an impact as well. So a lot of things are changing, and sometimes these, well, almost all of these periods of success, um, it's 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 a circle circle of success, and uh, once that circle is closed, then somebody else maybe starts a cycle of uh, success. So uh, uh, maybe maybe United are just in that period where they may have to wait. To get back to the level they were before. I was just thinking then, with saying that you know, from the players and the demand of the players. What about what about a manager managing a club like that? Then is, is it can it become too big for a person? No, no. I mean, well? I mean, Louis Van Gaal's got a fantastic CV. You look at the clubs that he's he's dealt with. He's, he's understood those demands for for many many years. He's been at Barcelona, Bayern Munich. And, Top clubs right across Europe, and he's ended up at Manchester United as a consequence of the the clubs that he's he's had on the CV and, and the success he's had that, at those clubs. So uh, he knows what what he needs to do, uh, but he's in that period of transition, maybe uh, that I've just mentioned, that uh, needs obviously navigating and getting through the other side at the moment. It's in a little bit of flux, maybe. And because of the scrutiny that he's under, we, we saw Ryan last weekend getting quite animated. In the technical area, he would obviously know what those demands are and, and, and what it entails at Manchester United as a player. But does that put does that put him in the window? Is he the type of person who could take it to another level? Should an opportunity arise for him? Well, Ryan's ability as a, as a manager is, is is not clear yet. You don't know because he's not had the opportunity. But uh, 
given his playing career, you, you would say that uh, he's got an outstanding chance, and uh, and he's getting an education now. Uh, he had it was obviously been in and around Sir Alex for so many years, and now he's he's assistant manager to one of the recent managers who's, who's been involved at top clubs. So he's had a great education. I won't put too much onus on the fact that he's jumping up and down the touchline. If you see my my staff, they they do quite a lot of that themselves as well. So. You can't really put the reins on them sometimes when circumstances dictate it's that. So, isn't yeah, it, yeah, think. that's all it is. That's all it is. Mark, over the years, we're not used to seeing Manny Isaac fans booing their own team. Does that surprise you? Is it? Um, no, probably the team I played in early on was probably the last one that got booed, if, if I'm honest. When I, when I first broke in, did we. Yeah, there'd, there'd be times when that happens. Um, but. As always, it's it's about performance, and, and people want go to United in numbers. And uh, if the level of performance isn't correct, then they let their feelings be known, and that's what happens here as well. Uh, nobody uh, backs away from that. They, you understand that as a manager that if if your team's not functioning as as well as your own fans think they should be, um, then questions will be asked, and people will vent. Their frustration towards you and in your direction, so it's it's nothing new. It will never change that. Right. How did the players turn it around back in, in your time? Well, experience? more often not. If if you've got a strong group of players and and you've got leaders within that group, then they, they get themselves together and shape themselves out of it and do something about it. And that's what that's what all Man United teams in, in the past have done. Um, fully expect them to do it again this year. All done. Thank you very much, Matt. I understand. <laughs> 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 <laughs>